Today's video, me and another YouTuber, Vitality, will be embarking on a dual journey on his solo dual server. Our plan is to get all techgrams day one, get ahead of everybody else, and then steamroll the server with a bunch of raids. This is episode one. Subscribe if you enjoy. The XP rate is about 10x or 20x, so I'm going to gen one to grab some glitches. That'll be enough levels for me. Then I'll head over to gen two and start punching out a maiming. Alright. I also need to make a saddle, so I'm going to hit these little rocks on the river, which always give a lot of metal, and then we'll forge it up. With these three forges, I'll be able to get 35 ingots, which is all I need for the maiming. Um, I'll probably place more later because I need to get a hatchet as well and a crossbow. I crafted all the things that I need and involving metal for now, so I'm going to pick up the forges and I'm going to head over to a base location to start on with the maiming. 560. Uh, yeah. Anthem. Turns out Vitality was actually pretty close to me, so before I went to the starter, I would invite him and then we would go together. I see you, I see you. Oh, man. See you. Okay, yeah, I see you. Come. <clears throat> now we would both head over to the starter base. But when I got to the middle, I would be surprised by the element. Only bad thing was is that with a pick, it was really bad. So we'll probably need to get magma source first to then farm this. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, no, no, don't even farm this. Just go yeah. to this. You'll be happy to know that I uh, recently turned off third camera interpolation. Nice. <laughs> Huge. What you said in your tier list video really took it to heart. <laughs> now, this is the same starter spot that I did on my last video, and it's a really good spot, and I'll probably fight for it every single time I play at this point. It has a terminal right below it, a bunch of metal around it. So, yeah, the terminal is the most important thing for me. But here we go. Now we're really making forges, we're gonna surround the entire base by them. Today's sponsor is Mecarina, perfect for shooter lovers in a rush. You can play up to 3 matches in less than 10 minutes while having a blast. Small maps designed for fast paced intense gameplay, short and action packed matches is Mecarina's bread and butter. Action packed games in less than 5 minutes, as you can see you can traverse the map pretty quickly and finding an opponent takes no time. It's not a reflex FPS but it's not slow like most mech games. This month has been huge for Mech Arena, with a new Battle Pass season, a lineup of Oktoberfest events with awesome prices including a new pilot boar, and they added controller support which is the best way to play a third person shooter. Part of its large success is you can download Mech Arena right now for free on Android and iOS. If you use my personal link, you can get a free starter pack worth $25 which includes a firelight skin, a prodigy crate, and a plasma cannon 4 to help kickstart your gaming experience. And if you're quick, you can add me to friends as you can see on the profile and we can play some games together so don't wait around download mech arena now all right i'll get some hot uh actually get some metal with your pick and fill the ones that are placed down with metal and wood i went to look out for hide and i hit the jackpot as i found a bunch of deodons which give a nice amount no rex no rg looks like i ran out of luck the RG and the Rex were here to eat my stuff, so I had to harvest it quickly. I can come and tame it if you want. I've got, um... Okay, can you, place, can you place down a trap for it? Yeah, I'll place down a trap for it. Nice. Damn, when you got the glitch on an insta-tame server. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll make a Nanky saddle. And just like that, we were doing metal runs with an RG and Anki. Pretty quickly into the wipe, we would get tons of metal. I went out to drop the craft cryopods, and I got a force field, but I forgot the poly. Fuck, I forgot polymer. There's a. F <laughs> I forget polymer, there's a mantis next to me. Polymer did not forget me. Damn. I got more polymer than there is at base. With those cryopods, I can now go tame Maywings, and our base was having nice progress, but Maywings are important because if we lose the two that we have, then we have to go back on foot. When I got back to base, I crafted and placed down a Jenny, and now we just need some autos to protect our base. Scratch the autos thing. Vitality had gone to level 100, and now we got heavies. Our first few heavies, an hour and 48 minutes into wipe. Not bad. Sheesh. I went over to the sulfur area on extinction to get some gas. We're going to be getting batteries and placing them in the BP cave. Or not in it because we can't, but outside. Too slow. Sheesh. Damn it. 
I wanted to get that content. <laughs> <laughs> Robbed. That's five seconds I won't be able to include in my video. Bop. We got an indie now, but we gotta fill it up. So, we went on another meta run. No hard feelings, but this feeling's hard. We're slowly getting ready to get all our BPs as we are now crafting the batteries. I tamed about three really good Tussos and that would be enough to farm BPs. We were about to embark on a very long journey at the BP cave so we had to make sure we left the base metal and with a couple more heavies to be as safe as possible. Hey, I found it. I found the muff. I found muff. Muff. Oh, 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 oh. Split, split, split. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Watch this, watch this. Speedy, speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. Phew. I spotted the target. Uh. Not so speedy. Not so speedy. Not very speedy. Oh, okay. Hold up. Um. Get on the maybe and, like, swim it around. Yeah. So it doesn't get murdered in cold blood. This is a little tricky. But we'll get it. Oh, I almost got it. Okay. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swim. It? It's aggro to you, so it's very annoying. Doesn't wanna come. I got it. I got the muff. Uh oh. But I, I, they got me. I'm gonna whistle past they got me. Here we go. I go check drop. Drop his dog. You come. Alright. You don't have to be that far, like that. That's where you would be. <laughs> Not nah. shotgun. Ha. That's decent. Even though I didn't get the buff because I died, Vitality was near me and he got it, and that's all we needed. Swift. Nothing. Come. Bruh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh. Nice. Nice. We that, can soak with trikes already. Moza. We got a guy Giga BB. Nice. Seventy-four armor. Oh, Pete. I have a whip. You do you want to take it now? No, I'm fighting this guy. Oh, there's two. Yeah, there's two. I can't throw my two, so I have an idea. Battery heavy, go Go on, go on. I'm trying to get on the maybe. One slowed. I can't place my C4, bro. And we're gonna grapple them to us. Yep. I got this kid. Putting flippers on. I'm taking He's him to down. The, taking him. He's dead. I bowled the PC. What? He's naked. Nice. Good stuff. Damn, what is that hatchet? No. We got boots 560 Dura. After about four to five hours in the BP cave, we managed to get every single armor piece that we needed along with every weapon. So we were ready to leave the BP cave, but I did tame an angler because we needed silica pearls for the armor. Covered, 3C4, below, get in. What? Dude. There's a base right there. What the fuck is that? Look at that base. Right. I took a bear that I tamed and I farmed a decent amount of poly in the ab zone. And the game changer would be right here, where I dove into the reaper biome all the way on gen 2. And I found the 145 Reaper straight away, which I trapped, and now we're gonna get pregnant. Water, when I come back to the water. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Classic. Damn. Come on. Uh, you, you wanna see my face? Oh. Let's go. Fuck off, stupid Arthro. Uh oh. Oh. Get the bulb dog. Save it. Get the bulb dog. 
I would go through this process over three more times to get four total reapers. On one of them, I forgot to get the extra levels, but it is what it is. Damn. Yeah, that junk bug did not deserve that, man. <laughs> All for Rockwell just take some artifacts on the server, and with the shotgun BPs that we got, along with the shells that we crafted, we could do it now. Whatever, it's about 500. What the? What? Oh no. What is this? Man. I'm stuck. I was stuck inside this thing, but eventually an admin came and TP'd me out of it. Thanks, admin. You're a pog. I can see it now. Can you get it? Yeah, we got it. Yeah. And now that we have the capability to level up to 120, all we need to do is a little red OSD to get our levels, and we're gonna be there. With that, we get all tech grams. Yeah. <laughs> I scouted Valgro and I had found this base on the edge of a mountain, and I figured we should come and raid it with our Reapers. But by the time I came back, it was already raided, Vitality was far, and I had to make a move to try to counter them. Kill the one. Teleports. Sadly, he was too fast for me to hit and he got away, but I got away with half of the base. I kept gliding along the edge of Ogro scouting with half of the base still on me, and I would now find this base with four heavies, and I'm gonna try to raid it. Wow, base is basically open. Oh, nice room. Oh. <laughs> okay, I feel bad for that guy. He just stood there, like, completely gave up on life. Anyways, the base had what you would expect, a couple resources and maybe a cryo. I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys. That's episode one. Episode two is coming out very soon. Stay tuned.